Vanessa, Curitiba, Rio de Janeiro. Brazil is a massively diverse country and we're headed there now on worldly treats with no meats. Let's mix some flavors, enjoy a delicious meal, and celebrate a carnival. Brazil is by far the largest country in South America. It takes up most of the eastern coast and the center of the continent spanning a total of 8.5 million square kilometers. Brazil was inhabited by tons of ethnic groups dating back at least 11,000 years ago. Portuguese explorers arrived from Brazil in 1500 claiming the land for the Portuguese Empire. It became a central hub for the export of sugar cane and the import of African slaves. During this time explorers continued to push the Brazilian border deeper and deeper into the continent until it reached the size it is today. In 1807, amidst conflict with the Spanish and the French, Brazil joined the United Kingdom of Portugal, forming an intercontinental empire. This, however, only created tension between Brazil and Portugal, which led to Brazil's push for independence. Its independence was officially achieved in 1825. Initially a monarchy, this was overthrown and Brazil became a republic. Today Brazil is home to more than 207 million people spread across its 26 states and capital city of Brasilia. A part of Latin America, it is the only country in the Americas that speaks Portuguese. As the fifth largest country in the world, it has a wide range of climates and weather and has many vibrant animals living in the Amazon rainforest. Brazil is the world's largest producer of coffee. For this you will need two and three quarters cups of dried black beans, rinsed and drained, oil to cook, one large yellow onion diced, one medium red bell pepper diced, one large tomato diced, four cloves of garlic minced, a half a can chipotle pepper chopped, one cup of sweet potatoes peeled and diced if you want to peel them, one teaspoon dried thyme leaves, one teaspoon dried parsley, one teaspoon of salt, and two cups cooked rice white or brown. Cook the rice and set aside. In a medium saucepan, place the beans in plenty of water and cook for about one hour over medium heat until tender. Drain and reserve one cup of the cooking liquid. In a large saucepan, heat the oil. Add the onions, bell peppers, tomato, garlic, and chipotle peppers. and saute for 8 to 10 minutes. Add the beans, cooking liquid, sweet potatoes and thyme. Cook for 25 to 30 minutes over medium heat, stirring occasionally. Stir in the parsley and salt and cook for 5 to 10 minutes more. Spoon the rice into the bowls and ladle it over the top. That's very tasty. It's lots of different flavors with the peppers and the beans and the chipotle pepper especially. You really taste it in there, it's good. Love this one. It was full of colors and all sorts of good flavored things and just just really good mix. This is a good good food.